about arithmetic sequence. Instead, under this topic, we are going to find out how to get the common difference. Remember that we are discussing about the arithmetic sequence formula. And in this formula, what we will be needing are this. So we have the n term, your first term, your n, which is the term position, and then your d as the common difference. Okay, let me just discuss briefly the uses of arithmetic sequence formula. So the formula is used to find a sub n or the n term. We also use this to find the common difference, the first term, and then the term position. How do we use the formula to find the common difference? What is the common difference in the arithmetic sequence 6, 10, 14, 18? Now remember that to get the common difference, you need to find the difference between two consecutive terms. And how do we get the difference between two consecutive terms? That's to subtract 10 and 6. Or you can also subtract 14 minus 10 or 18 minus 14. So in this example, our common difference is positive 4. Sample number 2. Notice that there are missing terms now. But we can, it's still possible to get the common difference in this arithmetic sequence because there are two consecutive terms and those are 52 and 54. So hanggat may magkatabing terms, po pwede yung kuna ng common difference without using the formula. So here, 54 minus 52, that will give us the common difference of positive 2. In this third example, we are asked to look for the common difference. So we have 23, 28, blank, blank, and then 43. So, pwede pa bang kunin yung common difference dito? The answer is yes. Okay, what we need to do is to just subtract two consecutive terms. So, ang magkasunod dito ay 23 and 28. So, subtract lang natin 28 minus 23. That will give us a common difference of positive 5. So, yung common difference natin ay positive 5. What's the common difference in the arithmetic sequence 25, blank, 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 and 5? Pwede ba natin isubtract yung 5 sa 25 to get the common difference? No. So in this case, we need to use the arithmetic sequence formula. Let's go to another question. What's the common difference in the arithmetic sequence 33, Blank, blank, 21, blank. Can we get the common difference by subtracting 21 and 33? Hindi pwede. So we need to use the formula. So remember, the formula is a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d, which is your common difference. So punish. Okay, let's use our example kanina. What's the common difference in the arithmetic sequence? 25, blank, 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 5. Remember dito sa ating arithmetic sequence, ang meron lang tayo ay a sub 1, which is the first term, and a sub 5, or the fifth term. So sa formula na gagamitin natin, we will use a sub n, our last term as a sub 5. Tapos you have equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. So your a sub 1 will be coming from this given term. A sub 5 natin, ito ay makukuha natin sa value ng 5. So we will substitute the values later. 
And then, what is our n? Saan ito manggagaling? Dito pa rin kay pi. And then, yung d, since siya yung nawawala, yun yung ating isosolve. So, what's the solution? Remember that the formula is a sub 5 equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. So, what we need to do here is to substitute the values. Saan ang galing yung ating 5? 5 came from the fifth term. Dito siya. And then, our a sub 1 is 25. Dito siya nang galing. That's our first term. Plus 5. And yung 5 na to ay galing dito sa ating term position. Okay? 5 minus 1 times your d. So, since hindi natin alam ang value ng d, huwag nyo muna siyang gagalawin. So, let's solve first yung 5 minus 1. That's inside the parentheses. So, 5 equals 25 plus 4 times d. Okay, next step is to multiply 4 and d. That will give us 5 is equal to 25 plus 4d. Next step, transpose 25. So, when you say transpose from this side, didipat nyo siya sa kabilang side ng equal sign. So, from positive na to, magiging negative siya. Kaya negative 25 ang nakalagay dito. So, let's solve negative 25 plus 5. That will give us negative 20 is equal to 4d. Since may d pa dito, ito, ito yung kailangan nating hanapin. Let's divide both sides by 4. So, tatanggalin natin yung 4 na katabi ni d. So, negative 20 divided by 4 is equal to 4d times, uh, sorry, divided by 4. So, cancel nyo na itong dalawa. That matitira na lang is d. And then, negative 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. So, in this given um, arithmetic sequence, our common difference is negative 5. Okay, next problem. What is the common difference in the arithmetic sequence? 33, blank, blank, 21, blank. So, notice that we only have a sub 1 and a sub 4 dito sa ating given arithmetic sequence. So, yung formula natin magbabago. So, mayroon tayong a sub 4. This is our last term. Is equal to a sub 1. That's our first term. Plus n minus 1 times d. Let's solve. So, papalitan lang natin yung ating fourth term ng 21. And then, yung a sub 1, papalitan natin ng 33. And our n, papalitan natin yan ng 4. Because that's the term position. And yung d, wala tayong ilalagay dyan kasi hindi, natin hina, hindi pa natin alam yung value ng d. Substitute. Then you solve first the ones inside the parentheses, which is 4 minus 1. So 21 is equal to 33 plus 3 times d. And then solve nyo yung 3 times d. So that will give us 21 is equal to 33 plus 3d. For 3 times d. Next step, transpose natin yung, mga, yung 33. 33 and 21 are like terms. Pareho silang whole number. So, yung 33, dipat natin sa tabi ni 21. So, from positive, ito ay magiging negative na later. So, negative 33 plus 21 is equal to 3D. Now, let's solve itong part na to. Remember, magkaiba sila ng sign. So, you have to subtract and then copy the sign of the bigger number. So, negative 33 plus 21 will give us negative 12 is equal to 3D. And then, from here, makukuha na natin yung value ng ating common difference. So, remember, we have to remove 3 katabi ni letter D. So, you remove this by dividing both sides by 3. So, 3 divided by 3 is equal to D na lang. And then, negative 12 divided by 3 is equal to 4. Negative 4. So, our common difference here is negative 4. I hope you learned something today. Kung nahihirapan, pwedeng ulitin, panoorin ang video. And don't forget, practice din pag may time.